the website is on YouTube channel. So in today's video, I will be teaching you how to identify the TMS or subset website to use. So it's very easy. You have two methods. So the first method is clicking the source code, and the second method is using Chrome extension, and the third method is using the external website, which is you search on Google. So you type on Google like okay, search or something like. And a website that I can use to identify a subset that my website is or that my client's website is using. So let's get started with checking the source code. I have some websites here. So let's get started. So let's start with the first one, which is this one. So we want to identify which type of subset this website is use. So I open it up. Yeah, this is the website. This is the website. So the first method, we are using the first method, which is checking the source code. Using the second method is using the Chrome extension. So if you want to check the source code on Chrome on your laptop, you can just do the right click. Oh. It's all look like okay, e commerce website. So you right click, you right click, or you click on Control U, Control U, or you right click. So let me click on Control plus U. It should take me direct to the source code as you can see now. This website is using Shopify. It's using Shopify. This website is developed with Shopify. Can you see? Shopify. Shopify. After checking the source code, you can just click on Ctrl F. Ctrl F, which is fine. Or you right click. Right click. Okay. You can find. find okay just use the shortcut which is ctrl f ctrl plus f and search for shopify shopify can you see shopify 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 now let's use this let's use the second method to identify cms the second method is using chrome extension so there's one Chrome extension called Web Analyzer. Just search on Chrome Direct. Web Analyzer. You can use any extension. You can use web general extension. But I will recommend this. I will recommend this. Yes, this. You just have to click on Add to Chrome. Click Add Extension. Okay, it's valid means valid eleven point one make. Okay. I think you have been able to use the first method to identify for this website so we are currently on the second method which is using the chrome extension and we still try the third method this is using external website so let's skip to the third method let me search on google identify software just type i can find the software See how to find out the platform you are to using. Open your okay. Open your browser inspector and go. That's what we just did. That's what we just did. Yeah, checking the source code. Yeah.
Okay. Okay. This website, yes. Go to eatwith.com. Then let's copy the website address. You copy the website address. You click on Ctrl C to copy and paste. And look up. Okay. I think we have to complete the computer. Bicycle. Uh, very bad. Okay. Shop fan. Very, very easy shop fan. Now let me go back up. Shop fan. Widget. This is the widget. Okay, now it's e-commerce. E-commerce is shop fan. So let's try the second method. Let's go back to the second method, which is the plugin. Let me add the plugin. This is the plugin. Then after adding the plugin, just go back to the website and refresh. Please make sure you pin the plugin. Pin the plugin. This is how to pin the plugin. This is the icon for the plugin. For all the sorry, not the plugin for extensions. Extensions. This is the icon for all the extensions in Chrome browser. Click on the icon and go to the that may extension and click on this pin pin icon click on it pin when you are done go to go back to the website and refresh then click on the icon once one just click on this it will show all the technologies used for the website development so the widget is p-o-w-r the development is Emotion or something like that. The e commerce is shop fire. Yeah, shop fire. Set for easy and straightforward shop fire. Now let's choose another website. Let's use this one. Let's use this. This one, this one, this one has expired. This one has expired. You can use this one. So let's use that now. Let's use this one. Let's use this one. Okay. Yeah, this one is okay. This one is okay. Now, let's try to. Let's try the first method, which is checking the source code. Control plus U, or you right click and click on full pixels. Wiki. There's one thing. This one is WordPress. This one is developed with WordPress, as you can see. This wiki. This wiki. Anywhere you see WordPress, WP. That is to confirm. Just click on Control F. Control F. Then you search for. Plugin. I see used. Anyways, use the from that automatically word first. So search for plugin. You see the plugin and the teams used to develop this website. So plugin, VP, plugin, plugin, plugin. And there is a plugin. Now to search for teams. The teams. Teams, can I see one? This is the teams to use for this teams. Last one for the last confirmation. So, search for WordPress direct. WordPress, can I see? WordPress version 5.2.17. WordPress. Now let's try the second method, which is using the Chrome extension. Now let's check the Chrome extension. Click on the icon. Can you see CMS WordPress? Very, very easy and straightforward. Can you even do we get? And the plugin here. Let's try the third method. Let's copy the link address and go to bitwith.com. Click 
Pan Ko. Okay, click on I'm not a robot. Bicycle one, two, three. One. Oh no. Yes, bicycle. Click on very right. Scroll down. Okay, what place? Any what place? What place? What place? What place? Okay, contact management system, which is TMS, is workplace. Very, very easy. So you have been able to try the first, second, and third method. And there's something for workplace, there's something. There's another way to confirm if the website is developed with workplace. You can just type WP admin in front of the link to confirm if it's workplace or not. Sometimes it won't work because it's plugged in. Okay, let's try it, let's try it, let's try it. Because sometimes it won't work. There's one plugin that you can use to manipulate. I don't want to use the word manipulate. Let me just say to change the link to access the admin dashboard. So, pp.admin, just to confirm, if you take me directly to the admin dashboard, let me click on enter. If the result is Pick not from then it is not workplace. If it's okay, you can see it take me direct to the admin page to log in. So this is absolutely workplace. So that is that it. It's very easy. You can try it. You can try it. You can try it. So checking the source code down, even the demonstration down, and using the website and using external website down. That's okay. That's okay. We are done. Thank you, everyone.